Welcome to the LPS Consulting web series for SAP Business One. In this session, we're going to take a look at SAP user-defined fields. We're going to see how useful and easy it is to create user-defined fields in SAP. In SAP, users can create as many fields as they need, and they can format and control those fields to make them more user-friendly. Let's take a look at an example of user-defined fields by opening up our Business Partner Master Data screen. On the right-hand side are some examples of user-defined fields attached to the Business Partner. Of course, this is just an example. We could have user fields attached to lots of data throughout SAP. Our first field is an amount field, and it's formatted for an amount type entry, so it just takes numbers. There's a website link field, which would open a browser to a website. There are a couple of text fields. In addition, we could attach documents or put pictures in a user-defined field. We could also create fields that have valid values or attach to other data throughout the system. Let's take a look at how easy it is for an end user to create a new user-defined field here. We go to our Tools menu, our Customization Tools, and User Defined Fields Management. In the User Defined Fields Management screen, we have lots of places where we can attach user defined fields to SAP data. For this example, we're going to drill down to the Business Partner. Under the Business Partner, we see user defined fields that are already created, and these are the user defined fields that exist on the right hand side of our Business Partner Master screen. We're going to click Add to add another user defined field to our Business Partner. And this is going to be our field to rate business partners. We're going to allow the end user to enter in to the Business Partner a rating based on predefined values that we are going to supply for them. We create this field by giving it a title and a description. We select from different types of data formats that the users can enter. So we're just going to keep this as alphanumeric and we're going to set a valid list for this field so that our users have to choose from the parameters we give them. So we're going to say they can rate the business partner as large, medium, or small. And we're going to set our default value to medium. When we add it, the system makes sure that we really want to do this because we're changing the structure of the data. We say OK. We go back to our business partner master data screen, open up our user defined fields, and when we pull up our business partner, we now have our new user-defined field for rating. By opening up that field, the end user has to select from one of the values that we have defined for them. When they update this data, this now becomes part of the business partner master record. This field can now be used throughout Business One to filter reports, to use in queries, to use for other functions built into Business One to kick off other activities or program functions within Business One. So that's all that's required to create a new user-defined field in Business One. Thank you for watching this video on SAP user-defined fields. We hope you have found it to be informative and helpful. Watch this series for more information on SAP Business One. Thank you.